Imagine a diet where you can eat cheese, bacon, and butter to your heart's content and still lose weight. Welcome to the ketogenic or keto diet, a meal plan that's taken the world by storm. This high-fat, low-carb regimen turns traditional dieting on its head, making fats the star of the show. It's a fascinating concept, isn't it? Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, let's delve deeper into the world of keto. So, what makes keto so attractive to many? Well, it's all about the potential benefits that this diet promises, and they are quite enticing, to be frank. Let's start with the big one, weight loss. The keto diet has been known to lead to rapid weight loss in some individuals. This is due to its nature, which tricks the body into burning fat for energy. It's like turning your body into a fat-burning machine. Pretty cool, right? But it's not all about shedding those extra pounds. The keto diet also promises improved blood sugar control. Studies suggest that this diet can be beneficial for individuals with type 2 diabetes. It lowers blood sugar and insulin levels, can be a game changer for many people struggling with this condition. So, it's not just about looking good in those genes but also about feeling good inside. And if that wasn't enough, the keto diet also offers a potential reduced risk of certain diseases. Some research suggests that it may lower the risk of certain neurological conditions like epilepsy and Alzheimer's disease. It's like putting a shield around your brain, protecting it from these conditions. Who wouldn't want that? Now it's important to note that these are potential, they might not apply to everyone, and individual results can vary. Also these claims are backed by credible studies and data. But remember, science is always evolving, and new research might change our understanding of these benefits. But is it all sunshine and rainbows? Let's flip the coin. This is where it gets interesting. While the keto diet promises some fantastic benefits, it also comes with its share of risks and drawbacks. We'll dive into those in the next scene. For now, just remember, like anything in life, the keto diet is not magic bullet. It's a tool, and like any tool, works best when used correctly and responsibly. Stay tuned as we continue to explore the good, the bad, and the keto. If finding this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more informative content. Keto isn't all bacon and butter bliss, it comes with its share of clouds. Now let's delve into the darker side of the keto diet. While the promise of quick weight loss and improved health can be enticing, it's important to remember that every diet has its drawbacks. First up, nutritional deficiencies. You see, the keto diet puts a big red stop sign on certain food groups, namely fruits and whole grains. Sure, you're waving goodbye to carbs, but along with them, you're also bidding farewell to some essential vitamins, minerals, and fiber. These nutrients are important for our overall health and well-being, so their absence could leave your body feeling a little less than stellar. Next, we have the infamous keto flu. This isn't your run-of-the-mill, stay-in-bed-with-a-hot-cup-of-tea kind of flu. We're talking about a cluster of unpleasant symptoms like fatigue, headaches, and nausea that can hit you like a freight train as your body adjusts to its new fat-burning regime. But wait, there's more. Long-term risks such as kidney stones, osteoporosis, and heart disease are also potential concerns. Remember, while your body is a remarkable machine, it doesn't take kindly to being thrown off balance. Finally, let's talk sustainability. Sticking to a strict keto diet can be quite the challenge, especially when you're faced with social situations. Picture this. You're at a friend's barbecue, everyone's digging into juicy burgers and sweet potato fries, and there you are, religiously munching on your keto-approved celery sticks. Not quite the life of the party, huh? So, is keto the villain then? Not so fast. Like any diet, it has its pros and cons. It's not about labeling it as good or bad, but rather understanding how it fits into your life, your health, and your goals. And remember, any dietary changes should always be made under the guidance of a healthcare professional. So before you decide to jump on the keto bandwagon, make sure you've got all the facts. Every body is unique, and so is its nutritional needs. That's why it's crucial to remember that the keto diet, like any dietary approach, isn't a one-size-fits-all solution. Sure, it's been hailed as the holy grail for rapid weight loss and has shown promising results in managing blood sugar levels. Still, it's not necessarily the right fit for everyone. Why you ask? Well, it's simple. Our bodies are as diverse as our personalities. We all have different metabolic rates, physical activities, medical histories, and let's not forget our distinctive taste buds. What works wonders for one might be a complete disaster for another. This is where professional guidance comes into play. Before jumping on the keto bandwagon, it's essential to consult a healthcare professional or a dietitian. They can provide a comprehensive evaluation of your health status and nutritional requirements. 
they'll also consider any pre-existing health conditions that might be affected by the drastic shift to a high-fat, low-carb diet. Remember, the keto diet is a significant lifestyle change. It's not just about swapping your morning toast for an avocado. It involves a fundamental shift in your body's fuel source, from carbohydrates to fats. This transition can sometimes lead to initial side effects, commonly referred to as the keto flu. A healthcare professional can guide you through this process, helping to mitigate any adverse effects and ensure a smooth transition. Furthermore, individual needs and preferences play a crucial role. If you're someone who loves fruits, whole grains, and legumes, you might find the keto diet too restrictive. On the other hand, if you're a fan of meat, cheese, and butter, you might find it more appealing. It's essential to choose a dietary approach that aligns with your lifestyle and food preferences to ensure long-term adherence and success. Lastly, let's not forget that there are many paths to a healthy lifestyle. The keto diet is just one of them. There are other dietary approaches that can offer similar health benefits without imposing the same restrictions. The Mediterranean diet, for instance, emphasizes fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and healthy fats, and has been linked to a reduced risk of chronic diseases. Remember, one man's meat can be another man's poison. So before you decide to go keto, consider your individual needs and consult a professional. Your body will thank you for it. Enough about what the experts say. What about you? After all, you're not just a passive viewer in this nutritional narrative. You're the protagonist of your own health journey. Your experiences, your insights, your triumphs and trials, they all matter, especially when it comes to something as personal and multifaceted as diet. We've talked about the potential benefits and pitfalls of the keto diet. We've explored the science, the studies, the statistics, but numbers and data only go so far. They can't capture the lived experience, the day-to-day -day reality of navigating a dietary shift. That's where you come in. You, the keto explorer, the diet adventurer, whether you're a seasoned keto veteran or a curious newcomer, your story has value. Maybe you've tried the keto diet and it's been a game changer for you, or perhaps it wasn't quite the right fit. Either way, there's something to be learned from your journey. Sharing your experiences isn't just about you. It can provide invaluable insights for others. It can offer a real-world perspective that complements the scientific facts. It can inspire someone else to take the first step, or perhaps reconsider their approach. And just as importantly, it fosters an open dialogue. A dialogue that's respectful, inclusive, and dare we say, enlightening. A dialogue that doesn't shy away from the tough questions, the gray areas, the not-so-neat-and-tidy truths, because when it comes to nutrition, there's rarely a one-size-fits-all answer, so let's hear it. Let's bring your experiences into the conversation. Let's share the successes, the struggles, the unexpected twists and turns. Let's discuss what worked, what didn't, and what surprises you encountered along the way. And remember, this isn't about winning a debate. It's not about proving the keto diet right or wrong. It's about sharing, learning, and growing together. It's about navigating this complex world of nutrition with an open mind and a supportive community. Because at the end of the day, it's not the experts or the influencers or the latest diet trends that ultimately shape your health journey, it's you. Your experiences could be a guiding light for someone else. So is keto good or bad? That's not the right question. Our discussion on the ketogenic diet has shown that it's not a simple matter of good or bad. The keto diet, like any diet, has its merits and its drawbacks. It can lead to rapid weight loss, improve blood sugar control, and even reduce the risk of certain diseases in some individuals. But it's not without its challenges. Nutritional deficiencies, side effects during the initial adjustment period, and the diet's restrictive nature can make it hard to sustain. And let's not forget the potential long-term health risks. But here's the kicker. Everyone is unique. Your body, your needs, your lifestyle, your preferences, they're all different. So, what works for one person may not work for another. That's why it's so crucial to consider these factors before jumping on the keto bandwagon. We encourage you, and everyone else listening, to make informed decisions about your health. Consult with a healthcare professional. Consider your individual needs and preferences, and explore other dietary approaches. There's a world of healthy, sustainable options out there that can provide similar benefits without the same risks and restrictions as keto. And remember, it's not about finding the perfect diet. It's about finding the diet that's perfect for you. So, as we wrap up our discussion on the keto diet, we leave you with this thought. Remember, the best diet is the one you can stick to and makes you feel good. Want to dive deeper into the world of diets and health? We invite you to be part of this journey. Hit that subscribe button and share this video with others who might find it helpful. 
It's a big, complex world out there, and we're here to help you navigate it. Got thoughts or experiences with the keto diet? We'd love to hear them. Drop a comment below and let's keep the conversation going. Join us as we continue to explore the fascinating world of health and wellness. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. We appreciate your see you in the next video.